right so we talk about teaching in brief in brief of dependent arising Usually, you know, in in everyday life, in our normal life, you know, understanding of dependent arising and dependent origin origination also helps in uh, dealing with many of the situations, right? Uh, managing and handling many of the situations, especially you know those uh, situations which uh, which uh, really uh, demand. uh a uh, kind of you know skillful uh skillful handling right so in that uh, respect understanding of the dependent origination uh, becomes very crucial right mm. so uh mm, so this uh, uh small how to say this uh teaching uh was uh, composed by uh lama zongaba mm, j lama zongaba around in the 14th century because he appeared in this uh, world in the 14th century right mm. so uh the very purpose of his coming into this world you know is this world is to unite to unite the you know uh the teaching uh of the you know the teaching of the dependent arising and the um and the teaching of the uh illusory body right illusory body so in order to promote this uh, the unique you know uh the unique uh, path jezong ba appeared uh, into this world in the 14th century right <laughs> so he uh, wrote this uh, text only after he you know having uh, having gained a uh, direct understanding and insight into the nature of the reality ultimate nature of reality right this one uh in order to you know um, in order to gain the you know a deepest understanding of the dependent arising uh in his early part of life uh jezong ba displayed you know having not uh, perfected this understanding of the the ultimate nature of the reality or what is called as a dependent arising you know this the unique uh, teaching the dependent arising jezong ba you know displayed having not understood you know having not perfected the understanding so in order to uh, in order to gain the understanding you know the perfect understanding uh, the deepest level of understanding uh you know um, Majushri uh, told him that uh, in spite of his you know the one of the best teacher around his time was uh, Randava Shunolodu uh, Jesu Randava so Majushri you know uh, told him that uh, of course you know uh, you get uh, you know much uh, deeper understanding of the uh, the understanding of deeper understanding of the reality you know ultimate reality and the uh, uh, dependent arising but then uh, even uh, you know um, uh, rendava uh, from him uh, you won't be able to gain the you know the gain the most satisfactory understanding you know a satisfactory understanding so in order to gain the the most deepest level deepest level of understanding uh, um, so he decided to go to india right 
India around those time there are many you know top scholars at in the in the uh, in the Nalanda University, right? There are many um, few top scholars, so uh, he uh, almost decided you know. But then as he you know uh, make up his mind, ma make up his mind to make his way to uh, uh, his way to, uh, the, his uh, to make his journey to India. So then, yeah, the the, um, the great uh, another yogi, you know, another yogi master uh, by the name of uh, Mirazogi, he met Mirazogi on the way, uh, who told him that, yes, yeah, uh, if you go to India, uh, it would be the India would be really a very you know shining star, like you know, you would really become the abbot of the Nalanda University, uh, you would really um, become so famed, you know, in Nalanda, but then you know. Uh, you won't be able to return back to Tibet, you know. This uh, you won't uh, be able to return back to Tibet, and uh, uh, you won't be able to live uh, that much long to benefit, you know. So, um, so with this, you know, he then uh, decided to uh, uh, remain back, to stay back in uh, Tibet, to p pursue, you know, his, you know, further uh, what is called f to pursue his research in you know uh, the understanding of the uh, uh, dependent arising the union of the what is called the dependent arising and the emptiness right so then uh, through uh, gradually uh, you know he eventually he was able to meet uh, manjushri right manjushri then you know gave some teaching on you know dependent arising you know emptiness teaching on emptiness but you know jazanga say uh, he was not understanding at all you know he was not making any you know understanding so then manjushri told him uh, no problem you know uh, just let you know that my present you know my uh, present uh, explanation m uh, can serve as you know some st uh, you know storing the seed you know so that it will help you in the future. So uh, then, uh, then you know, uh, uh, Manjushri instructed him in order to in order to gain the you know right understanding. You know, in order to gain the right understanding, uh, you need to it 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 would be helpful to do a uh, uh, few things. You know, you need to uh, pray inseparably from your guru. Uh, right, and then you also need to familiarize, you know, familiarize with that, you know, the the text, the important text wrote written by the great Indian, you know, the masters, you know, on the Madhyamika philosophy, right, in the teaching and the discourse, Madhyamika discourse, and uh, and then on the top of that, you also need to create a you know, merit, you know, the merit and also the purification practice, you know, with these, you know, uh, three, uh, sooner or later you will come to gain the uh, you know the you will come to gain th the perfect understanding you know uh, not the slightest you know doubt is then no, is then left behind you know all will be you know dissolved all will be dispelled you know all the doubts you know pertaining to the the reality you know this will be you know dispelled so with this as instructed by the majushri uh, um, followed the same Right, uh, he undertook the you know uh, the uh, mental pra he uh, undertook the retreat you know uh, undertook the retreat uh, and then uh, engaged in some purification practice like mandala practice, uh, prostration doing a prostration practice you know and engaging in many other you know form of practices you know then at then you know, as a result of which you know as a result of these practices. For a prolonged period of time, then Jazongaba had a you know, in one night, Jazongaba had a vision. You know, what kind of vision is there? Are five in his uh, you know uh, they had a in dream. In his dream, there are five masters. You know, five masters. Uh, they all of these five masters. You know, uh, Arya Deva, uh, Master Nagarjuna, uh, uh, Arya Deva. And then uh, Chandrakirti, Master Chandrakirti, Baba Viveka, and Buddha Padita. All these great, great, you know, masters, you know, appeared in his dream. 
right here the dream of these five great masters and they are you know it it seems like it seems as if they are debating each other right in the dream so uh, there is a one you know uh, master by the name of you know uh, buddha palita buddha palita he was uh, you know all the his body you know where body very big big body and uh, with a green color right green color body so in his you know dream you know the buddha palita was holding a one you know a uh, text in his own text which is called as buddha palita right uh, which deals with uh, emptiness you know teaching on emptiness so he uh, placed this you know the the text on jezongaba's head you know and then head then the next day when jezongaba you know rises up he feels so relaxed you know there's a kind of you know serenity you know the calmness of his mind and then you know as a result of which you know this dream he uh, he happened to read the text on bulita pada palita right there's one verse you know one specific verse kedi pungu shimena so yeah there but there's one verse you know and when he reached that verse you know oh because of this you know as uh, the verse you know as a deeper experience is born you know the dispelled you know all the doubts are dispelled completely all the doubts are dispelled completely and uh, truly uh, gain a deep conviction you know in the in the uh, in the infallibility of dependent ri- arising you know although the things are devoid of inherent existence uh, inherent existence and intrinsic reality but at the same time the things function right so this kind of uniqueness you know this is how god this you know unique uh, insight into this uh, nature of reality then uh, he because of in order to pay his uh, to remember the kindness of the buddha you know to repay the kindness of buddha and as a you know as a mark of Uh, appreciation as a mark of appreciation for having uh, buddha taught this depend arising he composed this text this uh, beautiful text you know wonderful text right so this is how it you know came to be. so uh, uh, you know depend arising all this becomes very you know uh, it's a very vast subject yet at the same time very very important subject you know make a uh, very you know important subject need to make sure that one is not fallen into the extreme of the nihilism or either nihilism or eternalism one should remain in the middle way middle what is called as middle way or you know abide in the middle view you know not falling into the extreme of the eternalism or absolutism or nihilism you yeah, know right so once we are fallen into the this uh this you know, edge then you know there would be a danger <laughs> right for example they in the there was a indian fel- uh, in the indian you know uh in one time uh, there's a one uh, indian uh Indian philosopher right the ancient traditional uh, philosopher uh, you know they do believe in the you know atma you know independent self you know absolute self independent self absolute self self you know so um, his own is the dalai lama you know um, because then you know he introduced that there is an atma there is an atma theory you know no self theory when the no self theory was introduced you know he was he was so frightened you know the 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 guy was so frightened you know because why frightened is because if you know, in many of the things you know if you try to you know from the depth of one's heart you know we believe in the fundability of the things right fundability of the things you know so for example like you know when we are taught you know i i do exist right we all know i do exist you know but then you know we bel- do believe that i exist somewhere as solid you know solid or something independent you know 
if the eye, the so-called eye is unfindable, then they believe falling into the extreme of nihilism. Nothing exists, right? Not only oneself, all the phenomena, external phenomena as well as internal phenomena. Then there is a danger of what? Danger of uh, then uh, criti criticizing, you know, the law of, you know, f that functionality of the things, you know, the law of karma, all these things happen. So, the guy was uh, shivering. Why shivering? You know, very afraid because he believed, the guy believed in the independent self, you know, independent self. If the independent self does not exist, we are no longer exist. This kind of belief, you know, notion is there. Right. So, then Nagarjuna's unique philosophy, you know, the really marvelous philosophy, you know, marvelous, you know, just as we read, whoever hears, hears this, you know, dependent arising, you know, the, the teaching, you know, the teaching of the dependent arising is, you know, relieved, you know, relieved, is at, will be at peace, you know, there's a comfort, there's a comfort zone, right. Everything is there's a serenity, right? So this this the uniqueness, you know. All the things when searched, yeah, unfindable. Yet that does not you know that does not mean point out that things does not exist at all, right? Things do exist merely at the conceptual designation, conceptual labeling, conceptual designation. This is how things do exist, right? So like this. So then, right? So this is the problem of uh, falling into the age or extreme of nihilism, right? We disregard everything, you know, or nothing exists, you know, like this. And then yet, on the other hand, there is a danger that if we do not, you know, if we do not, if you do not make any attempt, you know make a right path to abide, uh, dwell in the middle way, then there is either you are falling into the extreme of the eternalism, you know, eternalism. Then, although, you know, we may think, oh, oh yeah, we have understood some kind of notion of the nothingness, what is the you know, emptiness, but sometimes, you know, people uh, refer emptiness to be as similar to nothingness, but that is not, you know, Nothingness, you know. Nothing is different from emptiness. Sometimes, uh, for example, right. Uh, normally, you know, for example, uh, if you mean many of the sadhanas, you know, uh, vajrayana uh, practices, you know, vajrayana practices, uh, there is a uh, people, you know, may know this, you know, understand the Om Sabhava Shinto Savadama, Sabhava Shinto Hum, saying like this, right? Or uh, Tongbanyi, you know, everything is emptiness. From within the emptiness arises this and that, right? <laughs> we, we need to have some idea, right? So, to some extent, you can also use both, you know, uh, the common sense, as well as, you know, uh, experience, right? Experience. When you say everything is dissolved in the emptiness, how everything is dissolved in the emptiness, from within that emptiness arises the conventional reality, right? How we are to understand, right? So otherwise, you know, uh, uh, as Chanja, uh, the great master, Chanja Rebbe Doji, he say, when you talk about the negation, the refutation, you know, it is as if, you know, we are looking forward at some, you know, goal, the zombie, you know, like, you know, two horns on the head, you know. <laughs> there is no something, there is no such thing, you know, as, you know, reputation, like the, you know, some zombie, you know, two horns on the one's head, the head, you know. What appears to our, you know, our sincere perceptions, our thought need to be negated. <laughs> so this, yeah, very yeah, important, yeah point that, you know, Rebbe Chanya, the Master Chanya Rebbe Doji made this very crucial point, right. So, so then, right, so then we are not able to refute, you know, if we do not identify, if we do not correctly, if we do not correctly and uh, correctly 
and properly identify what is to be negated, then you know, then there is a danger that you know we are not able to fully re, uh, negate what is to be negated. You know, if we are not able to fully negate it, then what really left is still there are many you know negations, subtle negations, subtle negations left there and and remain as a un unidentifiable <laughs> right so like this so therefore remaining mm, dwelling at the middle way i say the the we have the four philosophical system you know in buddhist we have four philosophical system what we say we are free from the uh, you know we are in the middle way then Sodarandika say, Sodarandika Madhimi, Sodarandika, you know, uh, the school of thought, they said, oh, we are, you know, we are free from two extremes, you know, we are the Madhimika. <laughs> and then Siddhamani, my knowledge school say, we are the best, you know, we are in the middle way. <laughs> and then <laughs> the follower of the Bhagavivika, you know, Sodarandika, you know, uh, Madhimika, they say, oh, we are also, you know, the best one, we are the, you know, middle way. We are following exactly the Arya Nagarjuna system, right? Oh. Then this um, Shandira, uh, uh, this uh, Hari Badra, Hari Badra, the Master Shandira Shida, these uh, great beings, they say, oh, we are also, you know, uh, we are uh, our our explanation, our interpretation, you know, of the doctrine of emptiness really goes well with. Nagarjuna, because we have interpreted rightly. <laughs> Everybody is <laughs> right. And then, but then the worst is uh, the southern the Vavishika, the, the masters like Vavishika, uh, the master of the Vavishika school of thought, and southern you know, Mahayana, Mahayana does not exist, you know. These the ones, you know, all these philosophy are, you know, created, you know, out of arrogance. <laughs> they say like this, right? So later on, you know, because we say on the one hand, this Hinayana, they say Mahayana, right? So, right, uh, Mahayana say Hinayana, Hinayana, uh, lower, school, lower school of thought, you know, lower school of thought, something like this, a kind of, you know, uh, discrimination, right? So then uh, Hinayana, you know, <laughs> get upset, you know, <laughs> follow up the Hinayana. They try to just wipe off the Mahayana. <laughs> Mahayana is not the teaching of the Yuna Buddha. These are somewhat, you know, the great masters like Ari, the Nagarjuna created all this, you know, out of the, the pride, like sense of pride, these things, right? But then, therefore, therefore, then the great master of Baba Viveka came. Uh, this uh, master, you know, uh, Shantideva, Shantideva, all oh, they try to, uh, you know, try to prove that Mahayana is an authentic teaching of the, you know, Buddha, right? It's not a fabricated, you know, it's an authentic teaching of the Buddha. So if you look at the Ma, uh, Baba Vivekas, you know, ocean of, you know, the, the blazing, you know, risen. Uh, and also Shandi Deva, Master Shandi Devas, you know, uh, Guide to the Bodhisattva Way of Life, you know, there you will find a lot of, you know, in Wisdom Path chapter, you will find a lot of, you know, uh, the statement proving the authenticity of the Mahayana teachings, right, like this. <coughs> so, anyway, the, 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 the middle way, the middle way, the best middle way is you now what is promoted, you know, the Arya Nagarjuna, Arya Nagarjuna system of thought, you know, school of thought is the most, you know, uh, uh, you know, comforting zan, right? It's the most, you know, uh, mm, it's comforting zan and it's also um, very flexible, a flexible school of the thought. Because uh, the great master like, mm, Arya Deva, Arya Deva, and later on the the Buddha Balita, right? This great, you know, pioneer of the, you know, pioneer, and uh, 
Buddha Palita, Chandra Kiti, they really, you know, they really clarified. They clarified some of the subtlest, you know, the, the understanding of the reality. Both conventional reality as well as the ultimate reality, right? So they clarified to the deepest level, right? So what they interpreted remains very authentic, you know, authentic in, and is being freed from many of the false, you know, false. Because uh, those school, right? Those school, other than the, you know, other than the Master Chandra Gidis, you know, we are better used to consequentialist, you know, Prasanga Madhimega. All those school, all the they claim I'm middle view. Our school of thought is the middle view. But from the perspective of the Prasangaga, they all have fallen into the either extreme of nihilism or eternalism. <laughs> right. So the, in any way they have great difficulty in positing the reality. Right. Like this. So this is what you know uh Jajangaba are trying to explain you know, in trying to explain or teach uh, the Nagarjuna's philosophy, the uniqueness of the philosophy. What is the uniqueness of the Nagarjuna's philosophy? Is you know um, I don't know how to say in English, you know, because I try to search in the uh, some uh, term, you know, term. All that they use the, you know, um, in Tibetan we have different your word. In English look like, you know, inherent existence, right? Inherent existence, uh, intrinsic existence, right? And then uh, um, existing from its own side, right? There's a huge difference, you know, very different. It looks like, you know, understanding, you know, if you try to search a dictionary, it looks same, right? But then uh, they have their own, you know, many, you know, differences. Each of them have their own differences, right? So, uh, this um, other than Nagarjuna's school of thought, all the school. They say things are fundable. Navarjana said things are un things are unfindable. <laughs> Big different, right? On the one hand, on the one hand, Navarjuna, Master Navarjana say things are unfindable. On the yet on the other hand, you know, all those school of thought. Things are fundable. If things are unfundable, things become non existence. Then everything does not make any sense. <laughs> then Nagarjuna, Arya Nagarjuna say, things are undefinable, yet things exist. Things make sense because things are unfundable shows things are existence. <laughs> unfundable itself shows things are existence. <laughs> <laughs> Arjuna <laughs> using very you know sharp you know logic, right? So we will you know later on all these things you know will you know come. So Jazongaba uh, pay homage homage to my guru, the youthful Manjushri, right? The youthful Manjushri. Seeing and speaking of dependent arising. He was wisdom teacher. He was a wisdom supreme teacher supreme. I bow to him who knew and taught the all concurring dependent arising. Right. So, because why this book right? Because uh, Jatsangaba's present composition of the text, you know, in the place for dependent arising belongs to the wisdom path, you know, wisdom teaching, the teaching which deals with wisdom aspects of the path. So therefore, you know, uh, Jazonga pay homage, uh, pay homage to the Manjushri rather than uh, 
Buddhist hegemony rather than other, you know, uh, ways of, you know, uh, making salutations, right? Huh. Now here, um, oh, it's okay. Then seeing and speaking of dependent arising, seeing and speaking of dependent arising, he was wisdom uh, supreme and uh, teacher supreme. Right? Who sees? Who sees and what sees? Right? Who sees and what sees? Who sees is Buddha Shakyamuni see. Buddha Shakyamuni see and right and who spoke? Buddha Shakyamuni spoke. Now here. Buddha Shakyamuni actualized the meaning of the dependent, the understanding of the dependent arising, you know, dependent arising. This, the, this is unique. Dependent arising as the meaning of the emptiness and emptiness as the meaning of dependent arising. This is the unique, you know, uniqueness. You know. So this, you know, beautiful, you know, kind of the, uh, the beautiful teaching, you know, beautiful teaching is what Buddha Shakyamuni has actualized. Buddha Shakyamuni actualized. But now, what is the, what brought, what, uh, you know, by, by practicing, by practicing this, you know, uh, the unique flavor, you know, the, by practicing this unique, you know, uh, f flavor of the teaching, what brought him to because uh, he he understood, Buddha Shakyamuni understood, actualized, tasted the essence, you know, essence which then brought him to eternal peace, the lasting peace. There is no higher peace, more profound peace than the peace that he actualized, right? So. This piece is what is called as cessation, the complete cessation, you know, the quality of cessation, right? Quality of cessation. And then what brought that uh, quality cessation is the realization, you know, the wisdom, the wisdom of the realization that brought him this cessation quality, right? Cessation quality. So, right? So, But then, but then, uh, for example, in you know, normally, you know, if I get you know something, if I get happiness, I'm satisfied, right? I'm bit satisfied. You get happiness, you get satisfied, right? You get happiness, you get satisfied. But a kind of the you know the, the kind of the satisfaction that Buddha obtained, that Buddha achieved, is he did not keep it kept it secret. You know, he really you know want to show others. He really want to you know show others that you can experience the same level of the joy and happiness that I have obtained. You know. so therefore Buddha taught the method. That method is dependent arising method, right? So Buddha taught the dependent arising by by training in this dependent arising. The finally, the ignorance, the the suffering, the suffering is brought to an end. When the suffering is brought brought to an end, the cessation quality is achieved. You know. So Buddha, in order to expose that, you know, in order to, uh, in order to show that, you know, unique quality, that all the other sentient beings, how wonderful if this, you know, sentient, sentient beings also, you know, achieve that quality. So out of such a tremendous amount of compassion, Buddha show, Buddha, you know, taught, motivated out of compassion, Buddha taught this dependent arising 
which led to the eternal peace, the cessation quality. So therefore, you know, Jizongaba making an Jizongaba uh, paying the salutation, the homage to someone who has perfected the well-being of oneself as well as the well-being of others. What kind of well-being Buddha has perfected? The well-being of the abandonment quality, the, the well-being of the realization quality, right? And then Buddha has, because, you know, uh, having perfected the well-being of oneself, the well-being of, you know, dedicating to the well-being of others, you know, occurs, right? So, like this. So, therefore, he was wisdom, right? What kind of wisdom? You know, Buddha Shakyamuni was a wisdom teacher because he understood the dependent arising. He understood emptiness as a mean, uh, emptiness as a meaning of dependent arising and dependent arising as a meaning of emptiness. This unique quality. This unique quality is makes him wisdom supreme, wisdom supreme, teacher supreme, because he's in uh, what is the function of the teacher, right? Function of the teacher is to someone who teaches, right? So, if he teaches, if the teacher teacher te teaches. In the case of the Buddha Shakyamuni, what teaching he teaches, what discourse he teaches is, he, he taught dependent arising, right, dependent arising. I bow to him who knew and taught, right. So, I bow to him who knew, who knew dependent arising as a means of emptiness and emptiness as a means of dependent arising the uniqueness, you know, the harmonious, you know, the nature of this reality is what Buddha knew and what Buddha taught, right? Taught the all concurring dependent rising, right? There are many kind of, you know, reasoning, there are many rational, there are many logical, you know, which proof which prove the, uh, you know, uh, which prove the absence of the intrinsic nature or the reality of all the things. Yet at the same time, the things may exist. Things do function. Things do function only at the level of the, only at the level of the name, the mere concept, right, concept. Now here, we are relating to the first, uh, you know, stanza. Here, uh, Jezongaba paid the salutation. Jezongaba paid the salutation to Buddha Shakyamuni for having taught the dependent arising, right? Having taught the dependent arising. This is something, uh, you know, make a yeah, good sense. The union, you know, the union of the compassion the union of the compassion and dependent arising. Here, Jitongkapa purely praised the dependent arising, you know, for having taught the Buddha dependent arising. So, in a way, he also pay homage to the dependent arising and also to the Buddha. Right. Now, in the, if, if he, you know, if you look at the um, Master Chandragiri's, you know, uh, there's a one beautiful text. 
one beautiful text on you know, subli uh, supplement to the middle way Mathemeka Avatara, right? In which uh, Chandrakirti uh, he he didn't pay any homage. He didn't pay homage to the cessation quality. He didn't pay homage to the omniscient mind, right? Uh, he didn't pay uh, mm, you know pay any you know uh, the resultant quality. The resultant quality of the Buddha, he didn't pay any, you know, direct, you know, homage, salutation. Because, you know, there's a reason, but rather he paid the homage to the great compassion. The compassion itself, he paid the homage. Right. Now, if you really look at the function of the compassion, it makes it really a deeper sense, right. And then he say, the great compassion, you know, the great compassion is uh, indispensable in the beginning, in the middle, and in the end. Right, in the end, in the middle, the compassion is like you know, uh, you know, sprout. You know, if you really want to, you know, plant, you know, uh, plant, uh, plant uh, you know, uh, sprout to have a good, you know, uh, uh, fruit. Good, you know, uh, fruit. Then first, what you need is you need a sprout, right? Uh, not a you know bun sprout, just you know uh, uh, how to say uh, just a uh, workable you know, sprout. Then, in the middle, the compassion is like the water, you know, the water that the soil, you know, right. For example, for example, like you know, um, you know, uh, for example, uh, somebody you know, somebody recovered from you know, one disease, you know, somebody recovered from Ill, you know, illness. Now, once the person recovered, the person, you know, uh, the person, you know, still need to, you know, uh, careful about the diet, right? <laughs> Again, you know, if somebody do not care about the, you know, diet, you know, whatever, you know, diet the person eat, and again, you know, he will fall down back, <laughs> return back to the <laughs> earlier disease, right? Similarly, once, you know, even though you have, you know, uh, cultivated the path, you know, Cultivate the path still, uh, you know, at the th threshold when you just, you know, newly cultivated, for example, like bodhicitta, you need to take care of this, you know, the, the mind of bodhicitta and take care of the compassion, you know, like because there is a danger that again you will fall down into the, you know, hinayana. So you need to take care, you know. And then in the, in the, at the end, the compassion is like fruit. Right, compared how it is like fruit. Now here, see, he say beautifully. Uh, you know, uh, Buddha, Buddha, after having actualized all the realization, having perfected, you know, all the limitations, Buddha taught. Buddha taught. What Buddha taught? Mainly Buddha. Whatever Buddha taught, Buddha aimed for the benefit of the, the beings, you know, who either achieve liberation or to be freed from suffering, to be freed from suffering, to achieve the highest form of, you know, liberation, right, like this. So, mm, so Buddha taught the dependent rising to whom the followers the Buddha taught right so for example like those solitary realizes those hearer you know the hearer Buddha taught dependent rising as a result of having taught this dependent rising the hearers and the solitary realizes those practice right those practice 
and then they also achieve their final goal. But then they achieve their final goal because of the compassion. If the you know if we you know the Buddha you know having perfected all these qualities by himself, if you don't you know care you know, <laughs> there's no way there's simply you know no way that they you know they achieve the final goal. So out of compassion, motivated out of compassion, even though Buddha perfected all the qualities, you know, still motivated out of compassion, he taught this to be rising, right? So it's finally at the fruit, compassion is indispensable. Again, you know, again, you become Buddha, right? We become soon, at one point of time, <laughs> if we make effort, <laughs> we also become Buddha, right? <laughs> so, at one point of time, we become Buddha. What happened? When we become Buddha, right, that means, why we become Buddha, you know? what makes us to become Buddha, right? So, wisdom, we have, as a result of practicing wisdom, we need to practice wisdom, we need to uh, practice bodhicitta, right? Practice both, you know, wisdom and bodhicitta. But, where, you know, what are the cause, main cause for the bodhicitta and wisdom? What are the main causes? Huh? What is the main cause? The main cause is compassion again. <laughs> right? While you enter on the path, you know, whether you are uh, intelligent or whether you are not, uh, you know, intelligent, you know, intelligent. Whether you are to, you know, whether you are to achieve bodhicitta, right, or whether we are you to, to achieve wisdom, in those practitioners of the Mahayana, unless compassion is culti unless the compassion is cultivated, there is no wisdom, there is no bodhicitta, right. Those, you know, right from the beginning, those who really, you know, uh, want to join, want to enter into the Mahayana path. For them, without compassion, there is no wisdom. Without compassion, there is no bodhicitta. So, compassion is the root. The root. Therefore, therefore, now, here, you will see both, you know, here in this, Jitsungaba was, you know, was, making the salutation to the cause rather than the result. Similarly, Master Chandragiri, you know, praising and paying salutation to the cause rather than the result itself. Right? Because it's the compassion. Then he said, Master Chandragiri said, I do not, I do not pay homage, I do not pay homage to the uh, 15 day of the calendar, 15 day of the lunar, 15 lunar day, I don't pay homage, you know, uh, lunar moon. The moon on the 15th day, he say, he does not pay homage. Rather, he would pay homage to the first day of the moon, first day of the lunar moon, because all the qualities all the qualities, you know, whether it is the cessation quality, whether it is the realization of quality, or all the qualities, the unimaginable qualities, right, which we can talk about the unimaginable qualities, inconvincible qualities, all these, you know, qualities are born from where? Are simply born from compassion, right? Directly or indirectly, it doesn't matter. Directly or indirectly, it was born from compassion. Direct, you know, from compassion. Therefore, you know, with this compassion, and then things will 
slowly, slowly turn out. Things will, you know, handle by itself. <laughs> Things will handle by itself. Right. So, now, what this, what, what draw this, what gives, what give us, you know, understanding. What kind of understanding can we draw from this? <laughs> right? What kind of understanding? What further understanding can we draw from this verse? You know. <laughs> then it speak. You know, this verse speak. Standards speak. Do not enter into the high Sukatandra. Do not enter into the Mahayana right from the beginning. <laughs> right. Just step by step, step by step, you know. you know. Right from the at the grassroots level, we call grassroots level. We take every care, and then things we, you know. For example, you know. For example, I mean this can also we can also apply in our you know other you know uh, subjects you know somebody who really you know studied very well you know from the kindergarten level very well from the kindergarten level you know and then those you know someone who didn't begin you know this from the kindergarten level from somewhere you know just like what what is called as you know self study or whatever but then the knowledge you know deeper knowledge can be gained through starting from the kindergarten level <laughs> right so it's, it's so it's equally it's same right it says to not you know right from the beginning touch you know because if you if you grab if you grab uh, some, you know, stuff, you know, if you grab uh, some uh, kind of, you know, uh, hard meat, hard meat, if you can buy it, then no problem, you can buy it. If you cannot buy it, then your teeth, you know, break, <laughs> right? So similarly like this, you know, right from the beginning level, very, very important, you know, this thing. So this teaching also teaching us causal you know. if you if we if we salute if we pay homage to the great compassion you are you are paying homage you are saluting to all the qualities of the Buddha all the qualities of the Buddha similarly if you are paying homage to the dependent arising you are Paying homage to all the qualities of the Buddha. Same. So this begins. Now it says he was with um, now. Usually we are talking about you know different kinds of you know we are talking about dependent arising you know but what really is dependent arising <laughs> right causal you know causal dependent arising those causal dependent arising you know in which many of the schools you know may many of the you know uh, school of thought posit assert and we to to some extent we also know. The causal dependent origination, we know, right? I did, you know, except those, you know, subtle ones, subtle ones. Roughly, we know, right? But then, uh, there is, um, you know, there is a um, still deeper, deeper level of dependent origination. What, what is that? What kind of deeper level of compassion, you know, depend on rising? Now that is, things are, this table is a whole, 
We all know this table is whole. This book is a whole. This is whole. This is not a part, this is whole. But then it has a part, you know. The color, the south direction, you know, the east direction, south, west, north. This is a part of this book, right? And also the size, the color, the materials. All these materials are the part. So that is second category, the second level of the understanding of the dependent origination, dependent arising. Now, the final, the final one is, right, the final one is the most subtle one. That is now, that is now the unique the unique uh, the presentation, the unique presentation of the Arya Nagarjuna, whose uh, system, the uniqueness of his system was further glorified, further illuminated by the three great masters, Arya Deva, um, sorry, uh, Buddha Palita, Master Chandragiti. Master Chandragiti and then Master Shandideva. These three truly um, illuminated or you know glorified, further propagated the presentation of the dependent arising. Right. Now I use this you know uh, example. So this you know uh, when we talk about you know uh, understanding of you know. Um, depend rising or emptiness you know um, need to you know take s some time and you know need to think a little bit right now here I give you know these three great masters I will explain these three great masters they they you know uh, they present they present that things are Although things, you know, if we try to search the essence, no matter, no matter how sophisticated, you know, uh, how sophisticated logic that we used, finally, unf you know, things are unfindable, right? Yet, things do function. So, this kind of uniqueness, you know. Now, this kind of uniqueness is, uh, you know, these three great masters elucidated, right? Now, what Buddha Balita say, right? Buddha Balita beautifully says, in you know, beautiful says. Uh, just take an example, you know. Um, Right. No, it's I bet you did. Okay. No. Uh, so two people, you know, quarrel. Two people has uh, two people, you know, um, had some kind of uh, disagreement relating to the uh, the picture. For example, picture. All the the. No, um, Buddha Bali they use uh, you know different, but I will you know better use you know other you you get confused <laughs> Vishnu or you know who is Vishnu Brahma you know you know yeah, leave it Vishnu Brahma yeah for time being, but I just take this example right, Tara. Uh, so maybe for example we quarrelled, you know we argument you know some regarding this picture. You say. I, for example, I say uh, this is um, um, you know, um, this is medicine Buddha, right? I say this is medicine Buddha. Then you say, oh, this is not medicine Buddha. This is Tara. We are, you know, having some argument, you know, settling this dispute, you know, 
you are insisted and I insisted this is medicine for the right. You insisted that ah, this is Tara, bring Tara. No? Somebody, you know, no, in order to settle the issue, you know, dispute, we brought, you know, some uh, someone who better know of this, you know, uh, right, better know of the uh, knowledge, who knows much better, you know. So that person, you know, we, uh, we brought that person to settle the dispute. That person, that person should say, uh, you both are wrong, you know. You are wrong and you are wrong, Shh, you know. What you are talking about? This is neither Tara nor Medicine Buddha. He is not saying you are wasting time, you know. This is just picture. He does not say this, right. He does not say this. He just make the decision, yeah, this is, you know, Tara, you are wrong. <laughs> right? So, this shows, this example, this very example, beautiful example, shows that, you know, things function at the mere, you know, at the mere, at the level of the name. Right? Now, the so-called that we dispute on this picture, right? For instance, this, you know, Tara picture that we dispute. If, you know, the picture itself, this Tara picture itself that we dispute, if you try to find, if you try to search the essence, where is this, you know, Tara? We cannot find. But that does not mean this Tara does not exist. No, it still exists. Therefore, we argue. <laughs> right? So, from that perspective, things does not exist, you know, when we try to analyze. Yet, things do function. <laughs> right? So, this is another one beautiful example which will, you know, really give you conviction, give us conviction. You know, and then this one. And then, the second example was uh, being used by, you know, uh, Master uh, um, uh, Chandrakirti. Chandrakirti used chariot, you know, chariot, you know, the, the, those, the carriage, you know, the, uh, um, uh, pushed by, you know, the horse, you know, the one chariot. In, in the olden times, this, you know, there's a wooden chariot, you know. So, all the wooden chariot, you know, the part, the wooden, you know, uh, the wheel, the wheel, and the, the color, the size, all the chariot come together, right? All these chariot come together, when all this come together, then we call this is chariot, right? This is chariot. But then, you know, but then, before somebody give the chariot, you know, name chariot, right? Now, for example, take this very simple example. Somebody is called as a professor, right? Professor, English professor, or you know, English professor. Before the certificate is being given, right? Before the kind of you know, uh, title or status or you know, from the university, that person is not professor. Before the medical board give you the medical certificate, you are not a doctor. Only after you get the certificate in your hand, you become doctor, right? Right? No, not only that, the president, the prime minister, everything works at the level of the designation, right? No. So, right, so with this all the chariot, you know, when all this chariot come together, the parts, many in the parts come together, we call this is chariot, you know. If the, you know, how do we know the name chariot is given on the many part? 
is because you know, because because if the name chariot is not be, being given or labeled on the many parts, the basis of we call the basis of destination, you know, then you you know we uh, we uh, tear apart we tear apart all the you know chariot wheel. You know. When we tear apart, you know, some, you know, the part, you know, half part here, half part there, we don't think, oh, this is chariot, right? This is not chariot. This we don't think there is chariot, because it is the, it is part. It is just a part of the chariot. It is not the chariot. So, with so many things come together, we call chariot. Like this, we call somebody doctor. The moment the certificate is being issued, that person becomes the doctor. And then what happened? Now, from that moment onward, from very that moment onward, the five aggregates, the five aggregates, right? Five five aggregates of the person become the basis to be called as doctor. Become the very basis to be called as doctor. Therefore, the moment, for example, Dr. John, you know, the moment, the moment we see uh, Dr. John, you know, physical shape, you know, something like this, we say, oh, this is Dr. John, right, oh, this is Dr. John, because name already been given, name already, the name being given is already preceded. And then, you know, then what happens is, when the basis of destination, physical, you know, when the physical appearance of the Dr. John, when you, when you see that, we, we immediately, you know, think, this is Dr. John, right? What? <laughs> need to think, <laughs> we need to think otherwise, you know. <laughs> yeah. Because you know the basis of destination, you know. Now, for example, if I make things clear, you know, the color of the book, the book, this book uh, is uh, is just a whole. This book is just a book. But then, the color of this book, the size of the, this book, the shape of this book, all this, you know the material itself the material the printing itself you know the print all this letter print all this you know the image all this is the the basis of destination right all this come together then you know when this to come, come together then we call book you know is very it is to some extent it looks simple you know you tear apart we call book <laughs> simple. We don't call book. Then all this come together is called book, right? Right. But still, but still, things are you know, although you know, things look like this. But still, we need to you know go much deeper. Right. For example, when the, when the negative emotions, you know, when the afflictions arises in our mind, you know, they, they, they don't forgive, you know, they, these negative emotions, you know, afflictions are based on, you know, based on uh, invalid, ungrounded, based on ungrounded reason, you know, invalid reason. So, what, you know, what they are feared of? They are feared of nothing, except they are feared of dependent arising, dependent origination. So long as you see the dependent origination, these are uh, almost what we call as, you know, feel embarrassed. Because so far, we have been tormented. We are entrusted in this, <laughs> like, you know, uh, Almighty God. So it is only through seeing the dependent arising that the 
what is called as one's suffering is gone forever. Right? One's suffering is gone. Right? So like this. And then, so this is number two. Number three is the uh, uh, the Shanti Deva, Master Shanti Deva uh, used the you know il, uh, magic, magic, magic form, kind of magical you know how to say uh, the magical thing, you know. When we see me, what did you say? When we see magic, you know, we thought, oh, very nice, you know, magic elephant, oh, very good, you know, magic car, for example, oh, very nice, you know, or oh, magic house, you know. Oh, so attractive, right? But then we, right? We build uh, magic house, for example. So magic house, you know, very nice magic house. The we call the the mansion, you know, mansion, very nice mansion. This magic house is appeared as what? Magic house is appeared as a, the real house. Just as, just as it appears, we believe in it. Yeah, this is the real house. Now, right? So, because of this believing, because of this believing, in the second moment, what arises? <laughs> uh, what arises is a, you said, attachment. Attachment arises. So, attachment uh, give rise to craving right craving give rise to suffering so this is what we call as yeah so then master you know uh, shandi deva say magic in you know magic the the magic thing for example magic person the magic person you know uh, the magic person if you try to, for example, like if you try to develop a kind of, you know, sense of compassion or love for the magic, you know, for the magic person, you know, for the magic person, or if you try to, you know, give the magic person from the motivation, you create negative karma. But then, because there is no way that you can depart the soul, you can depart the life from the, depart the life of the magic elephant. Right or magic person. There is no way that there is you can create negative karma of having killed the magic person because magic person is not a person. It is a magic person. It's a magic person. Magic person is not a person. This we all know, right? The 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 reflection of the moon in the water is not a moon. It is the reflection of the moon, right? So therefore. Magic elephant. Finally, it is the what? It is the mere the uh, kind of you know the creation of the magic scene, creation of the magic scene, right? The creation of the magic scene. Now, so these three, these three uh, uh, example or metaphor shows that things do function. Things do function. Just because things are f things, just because things are function, it is it is devoid of inherent existence. Right? It is devoid of inherent nature. Now, say, uh, what then? Mm. Mm. Uh, so seeing seeing emptiness as a dependent rising, right? Seeing emptiness as a dependent rising and seeing dependent arising as an emptiness, the means of emptiness, right? 
So it makes uh, really you know a great sense. For example, right? <laughs> For example, uh, again I can use this book, right? So this book we can you know. Oh, uh, we check this book, right? Oh, this book is so nice, you know. Right now, sometimes you know, uh, in in the uh, in the West, you know, they they really make you know when they you know uh, things make very good, you know. Even the packaging itself, in the Asia, very worst, you know. In the when we buy the things, you know, package very you know bad, you know, and then let alone the you know the things inside, the product inside. <laughs> After one month, two months, <laughs> you need to repair. Here and there, you know, waste, you know, the things very well packaged, you know, let alone thing inside. Also, the external, you know, packaging very nice, right? So, like this, and then we get, you know, something right. For example, we get, oh, that's very nice, you know, oh, well made, you know. For example, uh, golden book, right? All things are made in gold, you know. All these things are, for just example, all these things are made, made, you know, of gold. So immediately, I kind of developed attachment, right? I truly developed attachment. But my my attachment is focused on where on this book, right? So from the side of the book. From the side of the book, cannot find. From the side of the book, I see as from I see as something you know, uh, I see as something attractive, some solid you know, some you know, solid appearance, some solid appearances appears from this book, from the side of this book. But then, where is that solid solidness? Where is that independent appearance? Right? Where is that independent uh, appearance? Huh? From oh, you know. Usually, you know, in a dark room, you know, I already we already you know know this you know the snack you know the rope in the form of snack. Everybody, you know, see, you know, all of a sudden when we enter the dark room, oh, there's a snake, right? Snake. So, and then we go and, you know, oh, there's a snake. I saw a very big snake. Dark room, right? Dark room. So then, um, then he brought some of his, you know, friend with a flashlight. There is no such snake, you know. Uh, you know, you must be mistaken. You know, no, no, no. I'm not mistaken. You know, <laughs> there's a real snake. But then, after the flashlight, with the use of the flashlight, there is no snake. There is just a piece of rope, right? Piece of rope, uh, the coiling piece of rope. So, but to us, to our sensory perception, there is a snake. Where is snake? Right. We see a snake. What you see a snake from the part of the rope is not findable. There is no snake. Right. If there is snake, then everybody should see. Everybody should see, you know, the snake from the part of the rope. So this clearly indicates that things are mere designated, just as the your your you know just as your perception, your perception designated, designated the snake designated the piece of rope as a snake <laughs> through what through mistaken perception. Or to many other factors, you know, like darkness of the room, the the the, the shape of the coil, all this contribute that you perception is dilute, diluted. 
if there is snake, they should be, you know, we can, in the if we put on the flashlight, they should be snake. But there's no snake. So everything, <laughs> the simple things, everything is like this. The project, you know, designated, right? Because you designate, Oh, there's a, there's a, you know, there's a, you know, snake, you know, in the, from the part of the rope. So therefore, you get fear. <laughs> so it's still function, right, from the part, it, it giving rise to the fear, right. Similarly, everything is like this, right. So from the this book appeared as something you know independent and solid this book has appeared as something solid and independent right and the way it appears the way it appears the everything the things are appears as solid and independent right but how it but how in what ways these things are appears as appeared as solid and independent is because we never think, we do not think this book is designation, mental designation, conceptual designation. We just think the book is right there. Right. For example, I put this you know piece of paper on this table. If I take this, you know, right now I see this paper on the table. If I take this, we truly develop there is no paper, or some you know, the sense of you know strong grasping. There is no paper, the independent, you know, thinking, the absolute thinking, that there is no paper. So, all the things when we find cannot exist. So, this book appeared as something solid, but upon upon you know finding, upon searching cannot be found. Then what does that mean? That does does that mean this no longer exists? Now you say now. It if we, if this book exists, if we find, if we try to search the essence, if we try to find it, you know. We cannot find. It's very clear. It's very clear. Even if you, you know, but even if you burn all this book, there is no book upon you know finding. There is no book. Even there is some particles, you know, some part burn ashes, burn ashes. Each of them are not this book. From the each of the particles, this book cannot be found. This book cannot be found. But then. Just you know, just you know, just unfindability of this book now shows and indicates that this book is mere designation. The mere name, the name is left. The mere name, name conceptual labeling, right? Because it exists, you know. Uh, no, if you say this, you know, if you say. If you try to, you know, search ourselves, you know, take all our parts, you know, tear apart, and then finally nothing is left. Your consciousness is also your, not your, not you, and even the physical aggregates is not you. When you, when we die, even you, your hand, some person say, my hand is, you know, my hand is uh, <laughs> I, right? Then those handicapped people, people who have, who have no hand. We have to say there's no person. It's a stupid, you know, like this. Almost, you know, uh, going like you know, the the crazy. If you don't be careful, you know, <laughs> the way your analytical should be very, you know, correct one, right? And then, if we try to search ourselves, we cannot find. But then, we don't say, oh, I'm no longer exist, right? We here, you know, we are here. 
Tomorrow we are going to walk. <laughs> if I does not exist, right, then who is going tomorrow? Who will be going, uh, you know, uh, going to walk tomorrow? Who is going? It is you. <laughs> but you, if you find, if you try to search, you cannot find. <laughs> right? So, just like I, just just like we uh, discussed, you know, all the thing, you know. First, we, uh, you know, uh, give the name right, designated. Upon that designated, the the basis of designation, the basis of the designation, basis of the designation, becomes what the basis of the designation now uh, becomes. The very foundation, the basis upon which the name, the name and the concept and the term is being given. Right. For example, for for example, somebody come and you know uh, check you know. Uh, Uh, mm. For example, there's a one you know uh, guy you know one guy by the name of uh, you know. Um, Tundup, right? Tundup. Tundup is, you know, uh, sitting on the chair. Tundup is sitting on a, you know, uh, throne. Somebody come and check. Where is Tundup? You know. If you try to search Tundup, you know, from all the throne, you know, which side he is, you know, sitting? Where? You know, uh, you know, how big is the throne? Right. And what color? What color of the you know is the, the throne that Tundu is sitting? What is the size of the the size of the throne that Tundu is sitting? You know, is it is sitting on the you know um, on the f you know five feet height or low? If you try to search like this, we no no way to find, right? Just just when we say. You see Tundu sitting on the throne, this satisfied, this alone satisfied. Yeah, Tundu is there. Tundu is right sitting on the you know, throne. Right. So, but you know, these things, you know, these things need to, you know, need to little bit reflect, need to reflect. Mm, right. If negative, you know, those afflictions, the ignorance, you know, the grasping, all these things are gone, then though there is no need. <laughs> so, so long as these are troubling us, this meditation is, <laughs> makes sense. Right. Mm. Then, The all concurring dependent arising of the suffering of of the suffering existing in the world, its root is none other than ignorance. The understanding to kill this root, you said, is none other than dependent arising. <laughs> right. Of the suffering in the world. The root, its root is none other than ignorance, very clear. Right, very clear. For example, just take a small example, right. For example, uh, when we are, you know, when we are, uh, for example, uh, headache, right. When we have, uh, when we, uh, when we get headache, 
uh, you know, with a with a belief, with a you know mistaken uh, thinking that if I if I eat the you know the 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 magic uh, the tablet for stomach, <laughs> right? If you eat stom, if you eat the you know uh, you know tablet for the stomach, stomach pain, you cannot get recovered from the headache because of the confusion, because of the ignorance. So, through education, the ignorance, you know, many of the ignorance, but here the, the ignorance that we are talking is different, you know, but many of the ignorance is dispelled through education, right, through education. So, education becomes important, <laughs> therefore, you know, we in India, you know, sometimes we say, if you don't want problem, study well, study, you know, if you we want to, you know, let a very you know good life you know very nice you know and less problem uh, life you know st study you know try to become like doctor engineer all these things <laughs> yeah so like this very clear the root of the problem is ignorance. Right now here all the problem, all the problem in the in the world, all the problem in the world arises from what? Arises suffering, both physical suffering and both mental suffering. Both physical suffering and mental suffering arises from what? This arises from afflictions. Where does the affliction arises from? Affliction arises from the evolution arises from grasping at mind. Grasping at mind arises from grasping at eye. Grasping at eye arises from grasping at phenomena. So there is a line, you know, sequential order. So this is how to put the things in a simple way. This is, you know, how. Now, if you want now here, if you want to get rid of the suffering, to get rid of the suffering, right? To simply get rid of the suffering. For example, uh, if you feel thirsty, we can take a we can drink. You know. So here we are talking about you know, for example, like those you know suffering related to the sensorial perceptions, sensorial, you know, suffering at sensorial level. This, you know, for example, you know, uh, when we are hungry, you know, we can eat, right. We are feeling cold, you know, we can, uh, you know, uh, wear the warm cloth. When the weather is very cold, we can put the, uh, you know, the heater. So these things are, you know, eliminated. You know, these problems can be eliminated, right? But here, the suffering that we are talking about is mostly related with, related with, you know, deeper level of suffering. Deeper level of suffering. I think the cessation of the suffering, the cessation of the suffering, makes sense the cessation of the suffering. Right. For example, just take a simple example. 
Mm, normally, uh, we sleep in the sofa. You know, for example, uh, uh, sofa bed, right? So we sleep on the sofa bed for a very long period of time, maybe one year. In the beginning, we feel the softness of the sofa. But after very prolonged use, we don't feel any softness. <laughs> we don't feel softness. Right? To feel softness of the sofa, if you try to you know, sleep on some you know, <laughs> floor, if you try to sleep on the floor in some rocky you know, area, you know, some uneven ground, after that, Again, we feel the softness, right? We feel the softness. So, it is very important to you know understand these things. One is, one is we are we are gaining, we are you know we are gaining, or we are you know achieving or tr finding the joy through suffering. Another one is. In addition to, in addition to, in addition to, uh, contaminated, uh, in addition to the contaminated joy, we are trying to find the another joy. Now, which is more profound? The joy. The joy gained through the suffering is more profound. Right? Now, if you try to look from the various angle, various angle, right? One person is, you know, uh, maybe hungry, very hungry. For example, when one person, the beggar, you know, the beggar can be very hungry. If he get a one food, you know. Single day, that food very nice. He can enjoy, you know, appreciate the food. Whereas sometimes we, you know, try to find one food, one food okay, but still we try to find more, you know, delicious food, more delicious food, more delicious food. Same like dress, you know. <laughs> we wear dress every day, new, new, new. <laughs> Is there any joy? Of course, I'm not saying there, there is joy, but that joy is, uh, you know, which you know, makes you to crave for more joy, continuously. Whereas on the other hand, you know, although the joy that we found through the suffering can um, may not be long-lasting, but as compared to other joy, is more profound. <laughs> more, it makes more sense, right? So like this. So therefore, the we called you know, what we call as you know, compassion. Again, here the compassion we called. Uh, what is the definition of the you know positive uh, emotions? What are the so what are the definition of the negative emotions, right? The definition of the negative emotions at the moment, the moment it arises, it disturbs your mind. It disturbs the peace of mind, one's peace of mind. The moment it arises, it gives you a peace of joy. It gives you a joy, right? Pleasurable experiences. Now, if that is the case, how does the compassion make a role in giving you happiness, the joy and happiness. When we talk about compassion, it is related with suffering. Understanding the suffering. Otherwise, you know, of course we can talk about compassion, you know, when there is a homeless person, you know, we can develop compassion. You know, right? There is what is called as sometimes, you know, <coughs> compassion related with the uh, you know, attitude, right? Uh, behavior. But then, the compassion that we are talking about, you know, universal compassion, unconditional compassion, unconditional love. This unconditional love and unconditional compassion is really, you know, is the, the you know, 
that we derive through understanding the suffering, valuing the suffering, understanding the suffering, how much you are suffering, right? How much we are suffering, the same level of the suffering, if you are able to extend to us the, all the you know others and then wanting to base on your how much you experience you want to remove that suffering based on your own experience how you are suffering now so long as you are able to develop that compassion develop such a mental attitude you know thought or emotion that is compassion <laughs> that is joy that is happiness Right, because why it is happiness is because when we try to you know try to define the happiness, the mere satisfaction is the how we define happiness. The mere satisfaction it gives you satisfaction, right? It gives you satisfaction. So that's it. Otherwise, you know, we talk about our oh, loving compassion. This you know, like this. Mm -hmm. Of the suffering existent in the world, its root is none other than ignorance. The understanding to kill this root, you said, is none other than. Jizangaba say, you said is none other than wisdom. He is not saying wisdom. You said is none other than dependent arising. So it something a uh, deeper sense when he used dependent arising. Right. When you use the dependent arising, it really saves you. It really saves us from falling into the extreme of nihilism. Like nihilism. Oh. Right. Even after finding, you know, sometimes, you know, you just sometimes we check, you know, we just uh, bring to you, to our own experience, right? Some of what happened is, oh, you know. When we try to search, you know, sometimes we feel afraid, we feel frightened, then you don't exist any longer. <laughs> right? <laughs> There's a danger. Because why this fear come? It's because of habituation. Habituation with the habituated with, you know, independent self. Independent self, very, you know, solid self. Independent self. This makes you fear, but after all, this does not exist, right? So, now, we need to kill, to kill something, <laughs> not killing other, <laughs> killing <laughs> independent self, the appearance of the independent self, right? Killing independent self, killing what? independent ego because this is the one which drag us since beginningless lifetime right in early times it's okay in early times you know uh, 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 all this you know because of the custom you know um, the some masters you know they live in the you know mountain and then the you know the the student come and then they give some instruction you know and then the the the, the disciples they practice you know and then when they gain some you know uh, uh, some understanding or some kind of you know experience then move to this but here in the 21st century this is difficult to find <laughs> right or we better go to Himalaya mountain <laughs> Otherwise, we do this this kind of you know investigation. Then it would be very helpful, right? It is. So so verse two we will discuss more next time. Yes. Okay. Now I think
the time is around 6, right? You have any question? Maybe? No? Okay. If you close our eyes, right? Mm -hmm. If you close our eyes, if we uh, if we block our eyes, if you are deep, if we are deep, right? If you are you know blind, we cannot hear, mm -hmm. right? So there is no way that grasping involved, mm -hmm. right? So again, you know, when we hear very nice music, you know. We develop again grasping, you know. If you are deep, you cannot <laughs> develop grasping at the music, right? So things, you know, when things are appeared, you know, at uh, sensory perception, right? Sensory perceptions, things are so appeared, you know, so absolute. And then, just as it appears, you know, what happens is then, you know, there's a, a mind, you know, there's a kind of mind, you know. Mm, thought, you know, it, you know, uh, it induces a thought, we develop a thought, oh, we develop thought, this thought, now, things appear as so independent, you know, just as it is independent, the grasping, you know, believe it to be independent, that, that is ignorant, self-grasping mind. In order to dispel their grasping mind, therefore, dependent arising is necessary. Mm -hmm. Understanding of dependent arising, in order to dispel it totally, the grasping. So, therefore, therefore, we are checking. We are when we try to you know uh, when we try to assert an emptiness, when we try to establish emptiness, you know, based on our own experience. We are just try to you know try to check how the things appeared. To your mind, that mind is grasping mind, grasping mind, you know, ignorance mind. How to how it appears? You are just trying to check one one part of your mind is checking this appearance, you know. And then do you do then by using the dependent arising reason, the reason of dependent arising, you know, you conclude that just as things appeared. It does not exist. If it, 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 if it, if the things exist as it appears, then it goes again experience, and it goes again many, many logic and reason. So, with this, we conclude things are mere designated, mere conceptual labeling, right? So this is how we approach you know. Right. Because otherwise, one would think uh, there are another type of thoughts. People would say, for example, things people would say, just like a, a mind owning school, things exist outside is only a, a, a uh, because of the mind, right? Mm -hmm. if, if we say like that, if we don't make it clear, it can be a misunderstanding like that way. Mm -hmm. Things only exist, this word like, Things only exist in the level of mental designation. Mm. Can be misunderstand that things exist because of the upper mind. 
The Zidaman is way of, you know, saying the things are mere, you know, you know, the, there is no things which, which is other than the mind. Right. All the things are the, you know, the part of the mind is the, em, well, how to say, uh, the, is the embodiment of the mind, you know, the part of the mind, the, the, the same nature of the mind. Mm -hmm. but they, they only talks about, you know, the only thing is this. Because why they are part of the mind is because things come into being because of the activation of the you know activation of the seed, but here we are not talking about that you know right. the activation of these things and that things. Now take uh, for example you know uh, 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 keep, it's sometimes better to use you know more example, right? Uh, for example, this you know rasari, right? Uh, one one bed is not rasari, right? We call don't call rasari. So it all this come, you know, they are 108, 108, the size, you know, and then all this come together, you know, all this come together, and then you know, uh, when all this come together, somebody must have you know give the name rasari, right? Mala, then. Once the mala, the being mala, the name, the concept, the term mala is being given, right? From that moment onward, from that moment, uh, from that moment onward, this is the basis, mm -hmm. the color, the size, the shape. You know, each of the bed become the basis of destination, right? Basis the, be, become the basis of destination. Now you see. Now apply this reason. This is the basis, but the basis of destination. Now, what happened is, when you see this, you know, uh, mala, when you see this mala, this mala, what we think is, when we see this, when you see this object, we think this is mala. Mm -hmm. Right. So, the thought, we have the thought, which thinks this is mala. This thought is now the conceptual mind. Right. Conceptual mind, right. Yeah conceptual mind because now this the mere this mala is the mere appearance of my conceptual thought conceptual you know uh, the conceptual thought designated mind you know so this you know what appears as a mala you know what appears as a mala if you try to search then mala cannot be found right so then we come to conclude, we come to the conclusion that this mala, you know, the, 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 the existence of this mala is none other than the conceptual mm -hmm. designation, conceptual, you know, des, uh, you know, labeling. On the basis. Yeah, on the basis, you know, mm -hmm. on the basis we designate, you know, when, because the how it, you know, designate is the moment we see the object, we think this is mala. Right. So things like this. From the it's from the it's a now you know, but sometimes you know, <laughs> think more right. Sometimes we think it's easy you know. Things saying is easy right, but then we it is still give rise to you know, anger you know all these you know, things. Because why this you know, anger attachment arises is because we believe independent. This is independent. <laughs> so therefore, this <laughs> is now saying, dispel this dependent arising <laughs> daughter. <laughs> right? Yeah, this. So yeah, this thing is understanding, you know, yeah, reflection, this thing, necessary reflection of the, you know. Could, could 
could we say, well, the, the mala or the object, I can understand is mere mental designation on top of the basis, right? Mm. Could one say, then could one then say, the, the, the mala, the basis, does exist? Mm. In that way. Because the, the, the mala, the concept of mala is a mental, it's, it's a conceptual thought, it's a mere mental designation. But when we try to search, can we say the base, the basis, does exist? Yeah, the basis of destination, right? Mm -hmm. On the, you know, on the basis of destination, you know, for example, this mala, right? Mm -hmm. This mala. Before this mala, mm, this this mala before it comes into being, mm -hmm. right? So you take out each bed. You you take out each bed, you know, and also you take out everything, you know. Mm -hmm. it, we we don't call this mala. But can we say yeah, yeah. This is not mala, right? First listen. We don't say this is not mala. Mm -hmm. This is just a part, mm -hmm. right? Part. Then somebody put right all these things put together, mm -hmm. right? And somebody uh, uh, somebody put together, and then what becomes? When they put together around, you know, the parts. The part, the uh, when the, all the parts are put together, mm -hmm. when all these are put together, somebody uh, you know called this is um, for example this is mala, mm -hmm. right? This mala. So. This is uh, this is mala. So the part, the basis of destination, the the, the 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 mala is being given, right? The mala concept, the term is being given on the basis of destination, right? right. On the basis of destination, but but before the basis of destination come together, there are parts, you know. Mm -hmm. This part is not basis of destination. Right. Only after you know, only after this all come, you know, together. Together, or come together on the basis, the mala is given. Given or this is, you know, we call this mala. Now, for example, like you know, these many devices, you know, the modern devices like you know uh, the iPhone, you know, the Samsung, all the there are many, you know. The, so before, you know, nobody, you know, this before, you know, iPhone, for example, a, 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 you know, X or eleven, right, ten or eleven, is being. Uh, advertised. We don't think this is you know iPhone, you know this iPhone 11. Yeah. So like this. So well, then what? You know? Yeah, I, I was trying to ask. I understand the 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 logic is about the about the uh, thing that exists only in the mental designation, especially when we talk about the mala is designated on top of the basis, right? Mm -hmm. My, Question is about um, is about the basis, mm -hmm. right? And there is if we cannot find this mala in on the basis in anywhere when we're trying to find. Mm -hmm. but there's still, a, but we don't we take that concept of mala away. But there's still this object, this base there, right? Mm -hmm. so that we, can we say the base still exists? Yeah, and the, all this, you know, uh, comes together. Yeah. But we don't give a, we don't give a, a, a concept of mala, a mental designation. Mm. You know, when we see this thing or this basis, can we say that the basis is still there? It exists, and the the concept of mala or the grasping of the mala uh, is a mental designation on top of that basis. Right. I don't get. Uh, like for example, what we call this a pen, right? Mm. This there is a stuff, there is an object there. Mm. This uh, everything come together. Mm. What we give a name. Mm. Mm -hmm. um, so, one mind may grasp on the on the on the pen, um, but we can eliminate that, right? Well, after we eliminate, when we see 
or exceed its its just the basic in the yeah. mind without it put, put without extra designation. I thought can we say that base the basis it does exist. B uh, the, 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 the difference, you know, the basis of the, the basis of destination and the basis is still different. Yeah, yeah. There are many. What are you you are talking about I'm basis talking of destination? The basis, not the basis, the destination. Ah. The basis. I'm just talking about the basis itself, not talking about the destination on top of the basis. Ah. We say for, for for what basis? For what basis, right? Mm -hmm. uh, for uh, for giving the uh, for giving the label basis, or or is just uh, in the basis in the term in the sense of term in the sense of part, right? In the sense of part, all this, you know, each of this bat, you know, each of this uh, kind of, you know, uh, can be part, mm -hmm. can be a part, you know, but you know, uh, not the, you know, the basis of destination. Mm -hmm. When the basis of destination, when all this comes together, you know, before we give the, you know, before. The name is being given, right? There's a, some kind of the uh, there's some kind of the you know uh, what uh, the 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 parts which can be later called as the, the basis of destination, mm -hmm. right? So these are the parts which can be later called as a basis of destination. When all this the, all these things come together, all this come together, but name is being give, given. At that point, it is the basis of destination. On this basis of destination, then the moment we thought it is the uh, mala, the thought itself is the labeling thought. Mm -hmm. So this we have since beginningless lifetime, mm -hmm. but need to you know think a little bit more you know. Right. Therefore, Jazangaba make an attempt to go to India. <laughs> if the, if the, <laughs> we sometimes we want the fastest, yeah, very you know, fastest, uh, you know, the best, right, the highest quality, <laughs> within a very short period of time. <laughs> That's <laughs> When we're trying to talk about uh, the emptiness, we're trying to uh, to remove our grasping mind through realizing that things appear to our mind, or we're holding dear, holding you know, re really strong, is a mental designation of our mind towards the mm. basis. We're not trying to negate. We're trying to get that grasping mind, right? We're not trying to negate the basis. That's I guess maybe the better way I try to to express. We're trying to negate the things that appear to, to, to our mind as so solid. That our my ignorant mind holds it as a solid, right? And we, we, that's what we're trying to negate. We're not trying to negate the, the basis itself, mm. right? Mm. Trying to trying to negate the you know mm, the, things the way the way things exist and the way things you know. The way things, you know, ex the um, uh, the gap, the gap between the the way things exist and the way things really are, mm -hmm. you know, this kind of the appearance of the gap, gapness, mm -hmm. right, right. So 
uh, I, I already, you know, the, 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 you know, the record, you know, I already told this, you know. When you try to talk about negating, you know, do not think about something external, uh, something like this. Just, you know, based on your own experience, you know, based on your own experience, you know, try to remember the, you know, sadful moments, try to remember the very uh, joyful moments. And then, it, you know, something very, you know, very emotional, you know, emotional experiences, we try to uh, recall. And then just try to, you know, uh, just try to check, check and see the experience and then you will understand, you will understand, you know, what is to be negated. So that's the main thing. Okay, then I think we better to <laughs> <laughs>